guys, and oh my god, the Lakers got Dwight Howard. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to show you some gameplay like I did last time with Steve Nash. Hello and, welcome to and I believe the trade for Howard, because I just looked this up, um, the trade for Howard was Howard to the Lakers. The Lakers basically just gave away Bynum and got Howard. And then, as you can see, the Magic are starting... Shooting guard is Aaron Aflalo. They got him from from Denver, and then they got Al Harrington and Nikola Vucevic, who I think is a sophomore. Um, yeah, from from the 76ers. Sorry for stuttering. <laughs> so it was a 14 deal. It was the Sixers, and the Nuggets, the Lakers, and of course the Orlando Magic. And I guess the Magic, they didn't get Howard, they didn't, sorry, they didn't get Bynum, because I guess they wanted, they were scared because maybe Bynum would leave them, because the Magic really, right now, they do not look very, look like a very good team, they do not look playoff bound, they kind of look like the New Orleans Hornets last year. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see, to see um, the Magic just fall right after they trade with Dwight But they got some young guns, and um, Nikola Vucevic, and Aaron Aflalo. So I think, I mean, they definitely took a step backwards, but I think it's good for their, for their franchise. Howard is getting... Howard could be creeping up in age in the next maybe five years if they, if they avoid keeping. Probably not. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just playing around. And I think I think the Magic also got a first round pick for next year, I believe. Yeah, next year. And I think that's that's the that's part. It's just the reason why they want to take this deal. I mean, of course they're taking a step back in terms of weight. Nash to Howard. Nash the pass to Howard. Nash to Howard in the post. Howard. For Davis. Okay. Hit. So, yeah, I think it was a good trade for the Lakers. For the Lakers, and of course, can't forget about the Nuggets. They got Andre Iguodala in the deal. So he's going to be their star player along with Ty Lawson. That's going to be a pretty good combo. The Lakers are going to have to get past in the Western Conference. And then. The Sixers, they lost their, their, their basically their best player in Andre Iguodala. But I think he was taking a little bit of, of a step backward this season. I don't know why. He just seems like he didn't he didn't play as well as he did. Like yeah, like not that 20, 20 to eighteen point score that he was. I don't know. It's not age for sure because he's. He's still, he's still there. He's in his prime right now. And Dwight Howard can't make it. Yeah, don't, don't um, sit back and so watch yeah. it in. I mean, make them earn. And then, make them earn. Don't give up um, anything easy. Well, there's so sorry, much to like about sick. Dwight Howard with his um, defense and his presence. Oh, yeah, the Sixers. How about his durability? He's only missed three games they got, um, for seven seasons in the league. Remarkable. Oh, well, let's not worry about the Sixers. I'm playing the match. Okay. So I'm just going to defend this all. He can hit threes, what? Okay. Up to Gasol. Okay. I'm going to run the Nash Gasol pick and roll. Let's go. Nash. And for Dwight Howard, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to talk about the offseason overall. The Brooklyn Nets, that's where I'm going to start. Brooklyn Nets, what? They have a pretty, they have a pretty, really good team on paper. I think they're playoff bound for sure. Maybe, maybe third or fourth seed, maybe even fifth. Um, yeah, they got Joe Johnson in the deal, basically trading away a bunch of role players. Um, so they're strong with, they're, they have a strong starting five. Darren Williams, um, playing point, 
And then and course, at shooting Kobe guard, of course, you got Joe Johnson. And then you got Gerald Wallace at the three, which I think he's he's a bit underrated. I mean, I know he's getting up there, and I know he can't he can't be as athletic, as athletic as he was, and he can't slash anymore. But I think he's a good player. I think he's a I think he was a good pickup, a good um, pickup for the trade when they made that. Um, Last season, I think that's yeah. Why he has last season, great from his and then they have Chris Humphries, who I think everybody. I don't know why they. Well, I mean, I do know why they. Hate now, here is Nelson. Um, feeds it to Davis. But really, he's a he's a really good Clark. player. He's at, had his prime, and he's averaging like oh, 11 and 12 every game. That's really good from Chris Humphries. And then you got the guy who always gets in Brook Lopez. Yes, this guy cannot rebound, but this guy can score, score, and score, and he has kind of has like a Tim Duncan game. He's got the mid-range game, and he's got the post-up. Yeah. So I think the Brooklyn Nets are going to be a solid team. And then, here, let's think of other teams. Oh, yeah, of course. The Lakers are trying The Boston Celtics. Yes, the Boston Celtics definitely improved. For sure. I would say this. I don't know, you guys. I mean the Celtics got they got they got um a steal in the draft pick by getting Jared Solinger. I think it was like twenty second or twenty first pick around there. Solinger is he he is definitely a talent but um it's just his his attitude, you know, the off court issues. Yeah, you're gonna have to deal with that. But the Celtics they lost Ray Allen to the Miami Heat. I'm gonna talk about that later. So they lost Ray Allen, but he's getting up there in age, so it, it won't be a huge kill to the team. Because they still have a good starting starting shooting guard in Avery Bradley. I like that guy. I think he's awesome. Um, so you got Avery Bradley. And then you get to re-sign Brandon Bass, which is a great, great player. Just energy player. You got a decent mid-range game. You know. And then um, also, so I think they're going to start Garnett. Oh, yeah. They re-signed Garnett. Outside, I think they're going to start and Garnett and uh, Bass. So Garnett start playing so center. One make and five to um, the game. So, yeah, and they... Oh, yeah, Jason and Terry and, and Courtney. Yeah. Covering. So they got um, Jason Terry. Great three-pointer. Somebody... I mean, you can't replace Ray Allen. Cause Ray Allen is, like, the really best three-point shooter in NBA history. Um... Yeah, that right uh, to me, he's tied with Reggie Miller. Um, so then you get, so then you lose a guy like Ray but you gain, or you sign a guy like Jason Terry, which is a bit of a downgrade. But Terry's a little bit younger, so they can keep him for some more years. And, um, uh, oh yeah. So, and then Courtney Lee, I think, I think he's going to, be a great sixth man off the bench. If they can put him in that role, he will be happy, and he's gonna he's gonna average like 14 points a game. And I think the Celtics, I think I I don't I think they'll be second. Yeah, second second to the Heat. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to Miami. Blocked by Howard. So excited for Dwight Howard. 